So let's look at the cell theory. Firstly, the cell theory states that all living organisms are composed of cells. So if you take any living organism and you look at it underneath the microscope, you will see that it is composed of these small box-like structures that we call cells. Now we get multicellular organisms and unicellular organisms. Now I've taken the example of a monkey for multicellular organism and all this means is that these organisms are composed of many cells, multiple cells. And then we get the unicellular organisms, which means that they are composed of only one cell. And the example I've taken here is bacteria. So here we see many bacteria, and this is one cell, one bacterial cell. Secondly, the cell theory states that cells are the smallest unit of life. The reason for this is that cells are the smallest structures that can survive independently. So for example, if we take some cells from a tissue of a multicellular organism, let's take three cells, these cells will be able to survive for a short period of time. Also, bacteria, as we've seen previously, can also survive and they're just one cell. But nothing smaller than a cell is able to survive independently. And finally, the cell theory states that cells arise from pre-existing cells. So for example, the very first cell in an organism has to arise from a sperm cell and an egg cell. It is the fusion of these two that creates the very first cell of a new organism. Then this very first cell will divide to produce new cells. And these cells will, provide, will divide in turn to produce even more cells. And so the main point here is that cells have to arise from pre-existing cells. They cannot be created from non-living matter. They either have to arise from the fusion of a sperm and an egg cell to create the very first cell of an organism, or then cell division. And that's the cell theory for you.